Hey Star Wars fans and welcome back to another Star Wars vehicle review. Vintage collection Poe Dameron's X-Wing from The Rise of Skywalker. I did review this a couple of years ago on my other channel when I had that going with the uh, Star Wars Go Figure podcast. But uh, yeah, since that one is lost but lost to time, <laughs> I've decided to refilm it. I've had a few people say, yeah, please re refilm it. Um, I did Big Star Collider's Red 3 X-Wing last week, and uh, yeah, this is the other X-Wing I have in my collection. Um, I did go on and sort of say that, you know, I chose this one over the Luke Skywalker one that came out back in uh, 20... mid-2019, so... Got the uh, Poe Dameron figure here, which I personally feel is pretty underrated. You know, it was originally released in the three and three quarter inch black series and then updated for the vintage collection. He came out just about the same time as this X-Wing. Well, it was exactly the same time as this X-Wing. So it kind of worked out perfectly. Um, yeah, would I prefer like a different outfit of Poe? Yeah, probably, but you know, I actually really like the resistance pilot um, outfits. I think they look quite good. And yeah, definitely, a, definitely an underrated figure in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it goes perfectly with, with the X-Wing. Um, I just wish the 6 inch black series version of Poe was a vast improvement like this one is. Um, you know, hopefully one day they'll update that one for us. So yeah, I'll put him aside for the moment. I do have his helmet here, still rocking the black helmet. I would love to see this X-Wing being the same model as his black one from Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I'd love to see that one done at some point in the near future. I think that would be fantastic and you know I feel like that black X-Wing was uh, just as iconic but when they come up with this orange, nice bright orange one it sort of fit nicely. I, I really dig the colour scheme of this one. I like it. It's nice and bright and yet the detailing on this thing is just really nice. Like It's definitely seen some action since he uh, modded this one up. I assume he just took on another stock X-Wing and Put his put his color touch onto it, but yeah, that that black one would have been awesome. Unfortunately, the the vehicle that came out back in 2015 with the black X-wing was absolutely garbage. Um, and oh yes, I did buy it. Okay, <laughs> I don't own it anymore. I think I do actually. I think it's just buried somewhere in the in the shed. But um, yeah, I currently have R2D2 donning the uh, droid slot. Interestingly, that we, uh, I, I don't know, I, I feel like that was almost just throwing a bone to R2-D2 in Rise of Skywalker, unfortunately. I, would have been nice to sort of see R2 get a little bit more action and uh, see B BB-8 in the cockpit, who does fit as well. Um, yeah, there's a piece of the landing gear, which is one of my, um, one of my little issues I have with this vehicle, but otherwise it's, it's pretty good. Um, we'll get a look at some of the features first. So yeah, we have this ladder, as you can sort of see there, that's just pegged into the bottom. It's a really, really nice feature. I, I really like that. You can plug that ladder in. The best thing about it is you actually have somewhere to store it. So it literally just clips in there like that. Boom, nice and hidden. That is that is such a nice feature. I love that so much. Um, yeah, so here we got the first bit of, bit of landing gear. You know, it has this sort of extra foot flap that sort of comes down. Uh, it's a little bit loose. I mean, I guess I could put a little bit of like glue or something in there just to tighten that up a little bit. But the problem sort of is, is that when it was required to go in, I think this one's okay, because this one will go in sort of flat. So that one's okay. So that one just goes in nice and snug. Those bits sort of just close on it nicely. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that one. It's these ones here. Now if I could just get this around the camera enough. So you have this sort of, it's literally just a sort of spinning. You literally gotta spin it just so it can store away, like so. Sort of get that out. It's a little bit tricky. You risk losing that, like I just did. Um, 
which isn't a, again it's not a problem it doesn't break it's just not super secure but yeah they're quite loose as well because they're literally just sort of clipped in there's a little little pin just to stop it from turning one way or another uh, yeah it's just not super super effective but again there could be a, another solution to that down the line but again you know you've either got the landing gear out or in you're probably not going to play with it too much so again just to sort of fit that in you've got to turn it you can just sort of pop that back on and close it up we'll do the same with the other wing the other landing gear sorry so you close up the two feet there spin it inwards push it down done locked away which is cool that's a nice feature I actually really like the landing gear now the thing I like about this ship is the S foils the way you put them in the tack position you know these wings are nice and sturdy like I've shown the other one yeah, the ends of the wings are a little bit loose but because they've got the, uh, the big heavy engines on each wing it sort of adds a little bit extra stability for the uh, for the actual you know the attachable wings here and uh, yeah so that, they go on nicely you've got the uh, turrets that are sitting on the outside they're sort of clipped on nicely they will pull off On, excuse the hand now the mechanism is different far better in my opinion it's all sort of central so you've got literally got two buttons here barely can tell and you push one down that's the closing one and the opening one pushes down and the other one releases so yeah much tighter rather than sort of pulling down a lever on the outside you know there's none of that sort of external mechanism that sort of gets loses it sort of loses itself in the uh you know the sort of machinery in the overall sculpt of the outside of the ship uh, which is really nice which I, I like that a lot and um, i'm actually a big fan of this x-wing like this model x-wing i love the way that the sort of engines split apart there like that Now obviously this couldn't work on a real plane because <laughs> circular turbines that spin, but uh, you know, Star Wars doesn't do that. Star Wars doesn't do things scientifically. It's all it's all good fun, so. So yeah, that's looks really nice. You know, the way I've got it hanging, you're hanging by those sort of supported heavy wings, so you're not getting too much bowing in those and they sort of, sort of slot in the side there and they're pretty tough so again we'll have a look at the cockpit so this is pretty nicely done nice details no targeting computer in this one I guess it's all done elsewhere and again they've added this feature of being able to lift open lift up the control panel and you can see so you've got a little bit more room to tuck the figure in. Especially the legs, you get a little bit more room to, to play with them and manoeuvre the figure in there. So I will do that. Just get Poe. I'm just going to quickly po, pose him up. Poe, anyone? <laughs> that was lame. So yeah, it just means you're not sort of trying to jam a figure in. And uh, yeah, being that I'm on camera, I'm going to have a hard time anyway because that's how it works <laughs> so yeah now he's sitting in there nicely put that down lock that down and he is uh, good to go and he is looking good in there I mean it's Oscar Isaac he's looking good anyway so yeah same to take him out just gives you that little bit of extra playroom just to get those out and you can sort of see in the back window there there's a little bit of a uh, Sort of machinery and bits and pieces in there which is cool it's the droid slot they've even weathered inside that it's hard to sort of show but they have which is nice 
but yeah, just overall the ship has really nice weathering. I love that you get sort of get that sort of wash that gets in all the cracks, which is uh, really nice. I love it when they do that. It just adds so much more depth and detail to the vehicles. Uh, the end of the nose is sort of a is a softer rubber, um, not as soft as the black X-wing that came out in 2015, but. Uh, you know, it's not going to flex on you, but it's enough that if you, you know, throw it at someone, it's not going to hurt them as much as a sharp, <laughs> as a sharp X-wing. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Just such an iconic shape, despite it being like a newer model of X-wing. Still, just really killing it with the design work. It's sleeker, stronger, faster. In the old T-65s, this is a T-70. So I don't know whether it was gonna be like a T-66, T-67, T-68. I don't know whether they go that way or they jump in fives. But yeah, really nice, I love this thing. I actually might actually, I've, I've had it hanging on my roof for a good couple of years now, so I may actually just take it down and just keep it on display for a little while, just so I can really enjoy it again, just for a while. I am going to close up those wings. I'm going to get the landing gear out again, just so you can sort of see. Flipping open those two little hatches. This one is nice and easy to get out. Don't need to turn that one at all. These ones at the back. Hopefully I can do it without popping those hatches off. Down. There we go. Poe up in the droid slot. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one. This is uh, one of my favorite vehicles in my collection, to be honest. Just look at that weathering. It's beautiful, really nice. A lot of the blue stripes, the sort of blue highlights and the orange. You know, the color spectrum, blue and orange are, are opposite, so they really contrast against each other well. Yeah, nice, nice detail and sculpt all over this thing. This is uh, just one of those many cases where, you know, when Hasbro nail it, they absolutely nail it. Don't know if there's anything they could improve on this one, just maybe that landing gear. But again, once it's sitting there, it's fine. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall over. Nothing like that. So, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to see that black black one X-wing from Force Awakens. Oh, I'd, e I'd even take one of the blue ones. I'd even take Poe's blue one from the start of Force Awakens that he lands on Jakku. Last five minutes, but I'd love to see it. Snap Wexley needs an X-wing. Bring it on, Hasbro. Love to see that. Anyway, uh, anyway, guys, again, let me know in the comments below what you think of Poe's X-Wing. I'm a big fan. I enjoy this one a lot. I'm uh, excited to have it down again, to be honest. I didn't think I'd be enjoying it as much as I am. So it's been, a, been an absolute pleasure being able to share this one with you all. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd still love to go and get Luke's X-Wing, like I've said. Especially given that the blue 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 leader X wing isn't being released down here in Australia, so anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you like this video. Please give give the video a thumbs up, even though you can't see them anymore. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that little not notification bell so you're alerted every time I drop a new video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.